Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with the NZXT Kraken Z53, we are going to take a look at two situations. First of all, I'm going to share with you some temperatures and then we are going to see what we can do with the software right over here, the NZXT Cam on a serious note with some uh, important information and also on a more uh, relaxed note like emojis and things like that so if it sounds interesting let's go for it I will leave some links right over here on the YouTube cards for some NZXT builds that we have done and also some coolers that we have seen in terms of the assembly this is an all-in-one so in a matter of a few minutes even if you haven't touched any PC assembling before in a few minutes it will be assembled because it's just a matter of putting the cooler right over here and then putting the fans and that is it now that being said let's go take a look at the screen with the nzxt cam which is a software that we have been using for quite some time and you have seen in quite a few videos which i do love it's always updating so it has a lot now on the first you will have all this information then we have the system specs this is important we are working with an i7 11700 at this moment moment so in terms of temperatures what i can share with you is that at this moment for example we are with 43 degrees 44 it's using the screen recorder so it's not using too much cpu but enough to go above 40. the normal is 38 to 40 on idle in this particular system using this cooler right over here without any effort completely silent but if we push from it using Cinebench to push through all the cores, it will reach 71 degrees maximum. And I've done this test quite a few times. This is a machine that I've rendered quite a few videos and without any issues whatsoever. So if you are worried about this unit not cooling enough your CPU, don't worry. We could even uh, upgrade the CPU with the 11700K without any issues whatsoever. Do some overclock and the cooler would just handle it just fine. Now, having that out of the way, it's silent and uh, when it ramps up, of course, we will hear the fan and we will hear some noise of the pump, which is normal on any all-in-one situation. Now, let's continue here on the screen and let's jump in to the lightning we also have the overclock right over here the cooling which is where we select the profile as i did show on screen earlier but let's go to the lightning which is where we want to focus today now at this moment we are showing the cpu temperature right over here and we have these uh, presets that we can choose but we will not work with the presets we will um, customize ourselves we can change the name and if we click we will have a menu right over here now the colors by default it's something like this no not like this but probably like this i think this is the default colors i'm not really sure of what it was because i've changed it so many times but um it looks really nice and we can do something else which is to change the colors of the text we can change the colors of the logo uh, for example if i want the logo red I just select right over here and bam if i want the background uh, white for example which i don't like but we could do that let's turn it back to black which is what looks best so we can customize everything right over here and we can also choose full uh, fill which will fill with all the colors so these changes right over here we will be able to do them on all the modes that we are about to see now this is one which will show us the cpu we also have here dual infographic which is one that i really enjoy it will show me uh, a little bit smaller but we have the cpu and gpu and especially when we are playing games and rendering videos we are not looking at the screen we can just check the cooler right over there to see how this system is performed in my opinion of course now let's go for another one we will leave gif for the end liquid temperature so we can check how the liquid is doing and of course with all the options that we have right over here the gpu temperature which at this moment 59 fans are stopped we are recording the screen so we are using a little bit of the gpu not enough to spin up the fans but uh, we will have this higher temperature now let's go for another one cpu load we are about five percent and cpu gpu load at this moment it will show zero percent okay and if we go to cpu clock speed 
we are at the maximum 4400 megahertz which is the maximum of this cpu right over here so these are the ones that are more serious now let's take a look at the gifts which is one of my favorites now this one and this one right over here you can see a difference and i will show you how this happens we also have one with the white background by the way have in mind that once we get our system it doesn't come with any gifts we will need to download them if you go to giphy.com you will have a lot to choose from and we will see right over here if i go to my library i have quite a few i can delete if i want to or i can choose from here uh, in just in case if i have too many and here we will only have available six so i can just click here and select the ones that i want now i'm not really sure about the limit but i do believe that it's quite a few now let's take a look at how uh, this difference happens and to that i'm going to upload the gif it can be this one right over here and then on the menu it will give me this option which if i go really really big what happens is that the emoji will be smaller right over here on the frame now if i go bigger what happens is that it looks like this so if i upload one and let's select this one right over here and if i go exactly on the size of the emoji more or less what happens is that it will look a lot larger right over here on the cooler so this is great now let's upload one different just so that you can see this one right over here for example it's a different from the emoji so that you can see the colors and there we go one hand looks really really cool let's take a look at this cat which uh, I, I love cats i don't uh, particularly like this gif but there are so many cat gifts online which is crazy let's put this one right over here and there it goes completely crazy dancing right over there let's give another example and one thing that i would like to share i'm not really sure if you can see the pixelization right over here this will have to do with the quality of the gift that we put by the way if you want to put a picture you can also do as we have done in the past right over here and now if i select this one you can see the size of the image is really small so the quality of the gif is not that good but if I save it and put it right over here, what happens is that, there we go, we have a different animation. But as you can see, the quality is not that good as we have compared with some of the emojis that we have right over here. This one looks a little bit stretched, but if we go for a smaller size, there we go. Great resolution, really, really nice. And then one with a white background, which personally, I don't really like, as I did mention before. The emoji is really cool, but we have a black frame with a white image it's personally not my favorite so let's change to this one right over here which has a really nice face and this one will be the one that we will be closing the video now that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there i will leave the link down below so that you can check all the specifications of the kraken z53 my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one